Hi all, out here with more Imperion, and today, uh, we're just going to show you what we've been up to, because basically I just came back from looting the fortress. <sighs> it's been a long, long day. So this is probably going to be a little bit shorter of an episode, uh, because I'm trying to get everything together for our CV build, which will most likely be next time. But I want to show you what we've done, and we'll take you back over to the fortress here shortly. But first, we have to get started, so let's go. Okay, so let us take a look here. I want to show you what we've got. <laughs> so basically, I took the fortress apart. Um, well, not even all of it, just the... Not even all the surface stuff, but a good portion of the surface stuff. And as you can see, we came back with a lot of hardened plates. We've got a lot of steel plates. And this is, you know, just most of what we came back with. We've got more stuff over here. <laughs> it's just, oh my word, it was crazy amounts of loot in there. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that with us. So we're going to go ahead and drop this stuff off in the fridge. We're going to unload the rest of this. So let's go ahead and... Come on. There you go. Again here. Oh yeah, it was, it's been a lot of time. Oh, nope, we didn't want to put you in there. Where did you go? Did you come out of there. You can come out of there. You can come out of there. I'm going to get all of the finished goods out. You are technically finished goods. And the goggles can come out. So what we've been doing is we have spent, I don't know, the better part of like two hours, maybe, maybe three hours <laughs> real time. Um, basically just uh, getting things in order here. Uh, just getting, I mean, just looting all sorts of stuff. Let's see here. Open up the materials box. We can drop that off in there. So I went ahead and added a bit of a an entrance area here so we actually have more, a little bit more living space, you know, so we actually have a, a little bit of a airlock type system. We have radiated fog, which is really irritating stuff just because it's so annoying to work around. Oh, let's get the f stuff out of the fridge first. Ah, can't believe I keep doing that. Go ahead and open this. Got most of that, but we can turn that off. I don't want to be burning power if I don't need to. So I've been thinking about what I want to do for a CV build. Um, I'm thinking what I may actually do is build a small space station first so that we can put our advanced crafter in there. Uh, anything else perishable? No. But I'm not sure if I want to go that route yet or not. Um, a portion of that, like the indecision on it is based on how much time and effort do I really want to spend on it for something that's basically only there for me to build. Did I just actually, wow, the thing is full. Holy crap. Uh, you can come out of there. Alright. Well, if you are full, we're going to go ahead and say... Let's pull all this away here. Alright. I will just drop that in there for now, just to get it out of there. Um... But yeah, so like I said, I don't know how much time and effort I really want to spend on something that is going to... The, really, the only purpose of it is going to be basically a, uh, you know, a stopgap. So we can't take over the X7 station because it's a, it's a admin station. Um, so I'm thinking what I may do is just go ahead and build all of our parts here on the planet. And then uh, we'll use the the little shuttle. Was it the X7 X, EX7 Explorer to shuttle all of those parts up into orbit? Um, 
Let's see here. Do we have anything? We should still have more stuff in here, right? Oh, there we go. I keep forgetting I don't have to actually go downstairs to transfer things. And hey, our street sweepers have decided to actually do their job today. Awesome. Man, those things are loud. Sorry about the noise. All right, so um, what I have started doing is making parts and transferring them over here. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of materials up here. And I'm thinking what I am going to do, like I said, is I think what I'll do, let's go ahead and get, well, well that was interesting. Huh. Let's go ahead and transfer all of this stuff up. Specifically the things that we can use for the CVs. Now uh, you are a base repair bay. Uh, we actually do want to grab one of you because we're going to actually use that here shortly. Everything else is... Oh, I can grab that. Yeah, so everything else in there we're going to use for uh, basically making the parts. All right, so let's go ahead and throw all this in here just to get it out of our inventory. Now I've picked up another RCS. I think I picked up an RCS. I may have actually left it back at the fortress. I may have to go back and take another look uh, because we weren't able to pull everything out of the loot boxes. We got a good portion of it. Um, but unfortunately... Let's see, so that's middle, that's middle. Right, let's move this thing out of here. So I did expand the uh, the landing bay here, the landing pad, just a little bit. Uh, more than doubled the size of it, so. So we're gonna move this over here so that it's out of the way. Now actually we do wanna put it on the side. I just realized which of uh, the <laughs> ramps I was using. Yeah, I know you're gonna decompress, that's fine. There you go. That's why I haven't put oxygen in the system. All right. So you are this row, and you are this one, right there. Oh. Are you really saying I can't place you here? Why can I not place you there? Uh, placeable for BA. Okay. Oh, because it's only a lot. You only allow one. All right. Well, since we don't have to worry about drone raids, let's go here really quick. I want you to return whole blocks. We are going to grab, I think I should have some, I thought I had some blocks left in there. I guess not. I have to have some. Hold on a second here. I know I have some cement blocks I because I actually was building stuff earlier. See if we can find them now. No. We know that I don't think they're in here, right? No. Nope. We know they're not in the explosives. Let's check the small ammo box. No, didn't put them in there. Didn't put them in materials, right? Okay, so what did I do with those cement blocks? Let's see if they're in the constructor. There they are. All right. So we're going to pop that, place that back. So did they just decide to stop right outside the... Sheesh. I'll tell you, man, it doesn't matter what time of the day. If it can, if it can go on when I'm recording, it does. <laughs> All right, so let's get this thing placed. 
There we go. Ah, uh, all this to place a repair block. Okay. And we're all, all we're going to do with it is basically put the ship right here for now. See? Look, they're circling. <laughs> they're like sharks in the water over here. Ah. Uh, all right. So, uh, yeah. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go ahead and finish transporting stuff around. Okay, I think we've got... Oh, you know what? I'm sitting here going... See, it's irritating me to the point that I can't even think of what I'm supposed to be doing. Dude. That is really annoying. Alright. So, we're going to go ahead and put the rest of our stuff here. Okay, yeah, they're just like hovering out there. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's um, rather crazy around here right now. Okay, so we've already transferred all of this. Let's go ahead. All right, so anything that we want to bring with us. We're going to bring our backup stuff, our extra drill, don't really need 11 of those, I think I've already got, well, let's grab one just in case, uh, not the whole bloody stack, oh that is just one, okay. For some reason I was thinking that that was uh, more than what I was expecting, okay, anyway. So we're going to leave a thousand rounds of ammo here. We're going to take that. We're going to take most of that. Let's see, our energy, H2O. We're going to leave that. We're going to leave that. Uh, take that. No? Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. Multi-charges, we are going to take 25 of. We'll leave the rest of them in case, you know, we have to come back to this planet for some reason. I tend to leave a few things behind. We're going to grab those. Epic Sniper. Right. Yeah, what do we have in the ammo box? That's fine. We'll probably end up pulling that all of that ammo out to use in the CV at some point. You are all this stuff. Definitely gonna take that. Take that. Uh, so yeah, it's been a lot of just running back and forth, pulling stuff in and out of uh, places. Right, so All right. uh, okay, so let's get the rest of this over here. We're gonna let's go ahead and drop all this stuff in here for it. Actually, put you up here so that we have all of our stuff together. See, I did bring one. Okay. So the rest of this is basically going to be me queuing up a couple hundred thousand armored blocks, heavy armor blocks. <laughs> Oh, because what we're going to end up with, let's go in here really quick, is we are going to build uh, the combat steel blocks. Um, basically, when I was taking the fortress apart, and the reason I took the fortress apart was because I wanted to be able to use the blocks that we were pulling out of there for the, the CV. And we're going to just basically queue up you know, like, I don't know, 500 blocks or so? Eh, let's go for 600 blocks, 700 blocks. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. So, uh, yeah, basically what I'm going to do now is wait for all of this to burn through. Oh, we still have the shotgun. So what we're going to do here is let's swap this out really quick. You go into there and you come over here 
we have the assault rifle, which, believe it or not, I actually like the pulse rifle better than the assault rifle because this has a 360 range, 60 damage, worth uh, versus a 430 range at 50 damage. This has got the better range, so if you're if you're gonna go after something, this is actually it's a faster firing weapon. Um, but I like the. Uh, the damage of the pulse rifle of course with the additional range and it does have a 3.5 multiplier so it probably it's probably going to be close well, it's probably going to be close in total damage output when you can when you consider all of the other things all right. I should say all things being equal you are loaded and we're gonna grab actually no you use the 12.7s oh that's for the minigun the 8.3s okay ah so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here <laughs> like i said this is probably gonna be a bit of a shorter episode uh mainly because of the fact that thank like, you like i said we're just basically building a lot of blocks at this point once we have everything together, uh, when we come back next time, we'll be starting to lay the groundwork for the CV. Now, what I'm going to do is, well, hopefully laying the groundwork for the CV. So what we'll do is we'll get those blocks made, we'll transfer the rest of the materials and our supplies over to this ship. We'll take this up into orbit, build enough of the CV to get some storage boxes into place, unload the rest of our materials, from this over to the CV and then uh, probably break it well bring this back grab the small ship break this whole thing down take those supplies up as well and work from there and then basically we'll just be in orbit for the uh, probably the next two or three episodes just working on the CV <sighs> okay so on that note we're out of here i hope you all have a fantastic day if you enjoyed the episode make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more be sure to subscribe if you have any questions before uh feel free to throw them down in the section below the video that's what it's there for and i may not get back to you in a timely manner but i'll do the, my best to do so and if i don't i apologize in advance it's nothing personal just ran out of time and as i am out of time i'm out of here i hope you all have a fantastic day a terrific weekend and we will see See you back here next time for more Imperion. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Let's head back to the fortress and go finish looting. Yay, loots. <laughs>